Filmmaker Sofia Coppola is renowned for her nostalgic and dreamy style. She frequently uses pastel hues, refined, elegant settings, and occasionally minimalist compositions in her films, which have a distinct visual aesthetic that arouses conflicting emotions and repressed feelings. Despite their lavish and dramatic sweeping landscapes, her movies are about character development and people trapped in gilded cages, oppressed by the brutal collective universality of the human condition. And although her work can seem a little too artistic or rococo in nature, one can still distill lessons from her artistic vision that can indeed serve as a compass for inspiration and the development of ideas for visual narratives. Here are five style elements based on Sofia Coppola's films we can incorporate into our graphic design projects. This video essay examines Coppola's work as a reference style guide for these projects. Pastel Colors Pastel colors are a vital element of Coppola's style. She often uses soft, muted color palettes to create a dreamy, sentimental atmosphere that evokes longing and sadness. These hues reflect her character's emotional states, conveying their inner lives through the quiet persistence of color. The evergreen timelessness of pastels can lead our mind to associate them with memories from our childhood or when life can be thought of as less complicated and more innocent, evoking a desire for a simpler time and place, creating an emotional connection between the viewer and the past. Elegant settings. Refined, elegant settings are also essential to her design methods. Her films often feature luxurious interiors, chic fashions, and upscale locations which conjure feelings of glamour. The genteel, cultivated settings reflect her film's themes and the emotions of her characters. By using sophisticated, lavish sets, Coppola creates a visual style that is both beautiful and emotionally resonant. Sofia Coppola is known for creating stately settings in her films, which help to convey a sense of beauty, extravagance, and detachment from the world. Her locations often feature sparse, tasteful furnishings, beautiful architecture, and well-manicured gardens, which create a surreal atmosphere that emphasizes her character's emotional and psychological landscape. Through her use of posh settings, Coppola can convey the character's sense of detachment, loneliness, and boredom, as well as their longing, desire, and disillusionment. She highlights the contrast between their outer beauty and their inner turmoil by placing her characters in visually stunning and pristine environments. She creates a sense of tension and unease that adds depth to her films. The elegant settings in Coppola's films often serve as a backdrop to her exploration of themes such as youth, celebrity, and the search for meaning and help create a sense of timelessness and universality. Minimalism. Minimalism is a distinct aspect of Coppola's stylistic approach. Her films often feature simple, uncluttered images that create a sense of calm and reflection. The delicate, exquisite compositions engender feelings of sophistication and magnificence, reflecting the themes of her films. By using minimalist content, Coppola allows her audience to focus on the emotions of her characters and the narrative of her movies without distraction. Her use of minimalism creates a sense of simplicity, clarity, and focus. By reducing the number of elements on the screen, this can make the film-watching experience more immersive and engaging, as the viewer is not distracted by excess visual information. Minimalism can also create a sense of atmosphere and mood and allow the audience to experience the character's interior world more directly and intensely by focusing on the essential and allowing the story to unfold deliberately and slowly. Minimalistic films can create a more contemplative and reflective viewing experience. The Feminine 
Sofia Coppola's focus on women in her films is a deliberate choice that fulfills several purposes. Firstly, it allows her to explore subject matters and experiences often neglected or marginalized in mainstream cinema, such as female desires, identity, relationships, and the pressures of societal expectations. By centering her stories on women, Coppola gives a voice often underrepresented in film and provides a fresh and nuanced take on universal themes such as love, loss, and self-discovery. Coppola's focus on women allows her to deconstruct traditional gender roles and subvert expectations of femininity. Through her characters, she challenges societal norms and stereotypes, presenting nuanced and empathetic portrayals of women who are often seen as one-dimensional or passive in mainstream films. Another purpose of Coppola's focus on women is to create a sense of intimacy and authenticity. By focusing on her female character's internal thoughts and emotions, she forms a closeness and connection with the audience and allows them to see the world from the perspective of the women on the screen. Overall, the focus on women in Sofia Coppola's films is a way for her to challenge societal norms, explore underrepresented perspectives, and create a sense of intimacy and empathy with the audience. The Nostalgic Finally, Coppola's films often feature a nostalgia component, focusing on the past and the desire for simpler times. Her ethereal world-building atmosphere creates a sense of longing and reflection, central themes of her films. By using this aesthetic, Coppola allows her audience to contemplate their memories and emotions, connecting with pieces of her movies on a deeper level. Nostalgia is multi-purpose in her films. It can evoke communal feelings and memories, connecting with the audience and making the film more relatable and emotionally impactful. Her sentimentality can also help stimulate a longing for a time perceived as simpler, more innocent, or happier, highlighting the dissatisfaction or disillusionment of the characters or the audience within their present lives. Her vision of yearning can serve as escapism allowing the characters or the audience to escape from the present and find solace in memories. It can also serve as a lens through which the film explores the past and the character's relationship to it, allowing the film to comment on the present and the changes that have occurred over time. So how do we incorporate Sofia Coppola's style practically into our creative work briefs? Pastel colors. You can use pastels or muted colors, hinting at dreamy, atmospheric, and new romantic vibes. Refined, elegant settings. Many of her films are luxurious and located in sophisticated environments such as grand houses and beautiful gardens. In a design project, you could use high quality stylish images to convey a similar level of refinement. Incorporate pictures and graphics that evoke a dreamlike or surreal quality and use soft focus and selective blurring. You can also utilize close-up shots of objects, textures, and patterns. Minimalism. Coppola's films often feature sparse, uncluttered compositions and a focus on negative space. By doing this, you focus on the sense of calm and simplicity in your design, providing a visual illusion of tranquility. Incorporate more leading and wider margins to create a sense of openness and air. Feminine Sensibility. Coppola's films often center around female perspectives and explore femininity, beauty, and coming of age. You could examine this feminine sensibility through delicate, graceful elements and imagery. Incorporate organic shapes. Use organic shapes and natural features in your design to create a sense of harmony and balance similar to how Coppola's films use organic forms to construct a sense of nature and serenity. Nostalgic Aesthetic 
In keeping with the dreamy aesthetic of Coppola's films, designers can use classic elegant fonts to evoke a sense of the past. Experiment with typography choices, such as vintage, handwritten, or script fonts to create a unique visual appeal. Also, you can incorporate visual elements such as old photographs and details from the natural world, such as flowers, forests, and the ocean, to invent a sense of beauty and tranquility. I hope my small sampling of book covers provide examples of traditional and non-traditional possible directions of how one can fold Coppola's aesthetic into one's own by either using all of her design elements or incorporating just a few. You can mesh her distinctive visual style into your own workflow. This can be a springboard that can provide a beautiful and refreshing aesthetic that is missing in the flash of modernity, the cold and clinical technological styles currently on trend. Her creative vision can be a compass for ideas and the development of dramatic and poetic visual narratives.